Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the LTMs today. We still have comeback squads in here, uh, Para Royale for the community creation, and Team Rumble Siphon is still here as well. Again, that comeback squads that we talked about yesterday, this new LTM, is a ton of fun. Check it out. Don't miss it while it's here. I don't know how long it's going to be in the rotation, but, uh, you know, while it's here, uh, you know, Play it because it is a really fun game mode. Uh, let's see here. In other news, uh, let's go ahead and talk about FNCS. Uh, they actually put this up yesterday, but we're going to go over it today. This is the FNCS Chapter 2 Season 5 Semifinals Update. So, hey, competitors, we're getting closer to the end of Chapter 2, Season 5, which also means we'll be crowning new FNCS champions in the next few weeks. As we hit the final stretch, we'd like to cover some topics you've been talking about uh, and even share the first details on next season's championship. Let's dive in. FNCS Semifinals Seeding We've seen some questions from players on how semifinals are seeded based on qualifier results. Seeding for teams that placed in the top 10 in each qualifier is determined by placement and also dependent on which week teams qualified. The seeding operates in a snake draft order for heats, starting with heat A as shown in the table below. And then obviously, if you're just listening to the podcast, you don't see the table, but if you uh, go to the YouTube, you'll see the 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 uh table or you can just go to the epic uh games uh website the fortnite section and look at it but it goes a b c d d c b a and then you know repeats the pattern uh and then the 102 teams qualifying through the series points will be seeded by the total amount of series points awarded and will continue the snake draft order starting at c31 in heat b uh, tiebreakers for teams with the same amount of series points will be determined in the following sequence. One, total, qualified, quali qu total qualifiers played. Two, total four, round four appearances across all qualifiers. Three, total round three appearances across all qualifiers. Four is the highest final placement in a single qualifier. Five will be the average final placement across all qualifiers. And six, finally, a coin flip. In Chapter 2, uh, Season 6, let's briefly look ahead to next season. We're planning to add a competitive preseason for one week, March 16th through the 23rd, so players can experience everything Chapter 2, Season 6 has to offer and give us feedback that, I think, is a great idea, uh, especially for that competitive scene that is really, you know, uh, finicky about and particular about what is in the season and how often things change and what they want out of a season. I think it's a great idea to have a preseason for a week and get them used to the idea, okay, this is what the season is going to look like, but also if you have feedback, give it to us and we could make some changes before the actual uh, you know, competitive season starts. So additionally, players will retain hype from season five until the conclusion of the preseason. At that point, the competitive season for chapter two, season six will begin and everyone will be reset to zero hype points. Players will have at least a week to earn enough hype points to compete in the first cash cup of season six. We will continue the Monday trios cash cups, Saturday solo cash cups, and Sunday LTM tournaments from season five. FNCS chapter two season six will begin will begin on April twenty second. As a reminder, the format will still be trios, as it will be for all of twenty twenty one. The start date should give players. Plenty of time to find their trios, partners, get accustomed to the new season, and allow us to make necessary adjustments before the start of FNCS. 
Speaking of adjustments, we're evaluating different options for tweaking how many qualify through series points and fine-tuning scoring systems and formats for all competitive offerings. We'll share more details on the next FNCS season along with the mid-year event soon. Until then, we hope you enjoy the rest of this season's FNCS. Okay, so again, like they said, if you are planning on competing in uh, FNCS, uh, you know, and for the next season, hopefully uh, this gives you some time to get your next trio ready. Or, you know, like I said, hopefully you found a good trio right from the start and you guys are sticking together and uh, will continue to make improvements together for the next season. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, your your news update uh, for FNCS. Uh, there's not any other news to talk about today, so let's go ahead and get to a challenge tip. I wanted to update yesterday, uh, the uh, challenge I talked about yesterday uh, as well, where you need to uh, scan a Surface Hub, and I mentioned that you can find them at uh, Stealthy Stronghold and Hunter's Haven. There's also one at Colossal Coliseum that I forgot to mention yesterday. And they're all, you know, like in underground bunkers. So like the, you know, the underground uh, like bases that are in those uh, uh, POIs, that's where you're going to find the surface hubs or whatever they're called. <laughs> and uh, so let's go ahead and do... Uh, today's challenge tip, which is going to be throw fruit at Hunter Haven. You need to throw three pieces of fruit and uh, just go to Hunter's Haven. Uh, there's a few buildings there that have kitchens in them. Uh, there's like three or four buildings uh, in Hunter Haven that have kitchens. And you'll find a box of produce in the kitchen and you just got to open it and hopefully you get yourself some apples and bananas and then you can throw them uh, and just keep going throughout the buildings until you find them or if you get eliminated before then then you know go back and uh in the next match and uh, get some more fruit out of whatever box that you did in the in the in the previous match but yeah that's pretty a pretty simple one uh just kind of you know like the south end there's one uh that's in the uh in the pool area uh yeah the the south end and on the west side i believe as well the building has a uh, a fruit box in it uh but yeah there you go 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 get those and get that done uh let's head on over to the item shop and see what's in the item shop today the street fighter bundle is still here uh they did say that it's going to be rotating out soon so uh, you know if you're wanting these go ahead and get them while they're here the flash bundle is still here as well the in space bundle uh, is still here and then today we have the frontier outfit with the detonator back bling for 1200 the uh, Brute Gunner outfit for 800 The Renegade outfit for 800 Classic. Uh, the Shattered Ice Wrap for 500 The Hand Signals Emote for 500 The Burpee Emote for 200 Uh The... Dominion outfit with the flame sigil back bling for 1,500. The burning beast glider for 1,500. The burning blades harvesting tool for 800. The malice outfit with the malice wings back bling for 2,000. The burning axe harvesting tool for 1,200. The burning glyph wrap for 500. And then we have a new emote, the pull up emote, pull up and take the challenge for 500 V bucks. Uh, this was made by some, uh, you know, I think it's like one of those other TikTok dance things going on. Uh, so check that out. I can't remember what the guy's name is. Cole Sausage or something like that. Cole Saucer. Let me see. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find it real quick. Uh, 
or I think it's on the news page as well. Let's go ahead and uh, look over back on the news page and we'll see. I think they say choreographed by Kale Sorridge. Okay, I don't know him. Maybe you guys do. Uh, but yeah, cool little icon emote there. Uh, we have the Aura outfit in here for 800 V-Bucks. Uh, the uh, Goldilock back bling for 200 the Diamond Eye Harvesting Tool for 500 The Guild Outfit for 800 The Gold Chain Back Bling for 200 The Heart Stopper Outfit with the Heart Target Back Bling for 1200 And that looks like everything. So you can get any and all of these items using code MikeDaddy M-M-M-I-K-E-D-A-D-D-Y in the item shop and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. Now for our tip of the day. Uh, you know, I'm finding, you know, even for as long as I've been playing Fortnite, there's, you know, I'm not a pro or anything. So there's so many things that I can improve on, uh, little things that I can improve on to help uh, get my game better and uh, especially in certain situations. And uh, one thing I've never been good at is taking other people's walls. Uh, and especially if, if, when somebody is, when I'm trying to take somebody's wall, when they make an edit on that wall, I'm not very good at countering, all right? Uh, so if somebody edits their wall as I'm trying to take it, I'm not good at then switching back to my weapon and then shooting my opponent uh, while they try to shoot me now here's something that you can do to make it so that you land more shots during these times and because when i'm uh at uh somebody's wall and i'm trying to take their wall i'm just swinging my pickaxe around like a wild man i'm just swinging it all over the place what you should be doing and what i should be doing is you know, when you're breaking somebody's wall, you can see the person moving around in there. So you should keep your crosshair lined up with your opponent. No matter where you're hitting the wall, keep your crosshair on your opponent. That way, if they make a quick window edit or a peanut butter edit, your crosshair is going to be ready to go. So that way, when you switch really quick back to your weapon, uh, hopefully your shotgun, and then take a shot, your crosshair will be right there, and you don't have to like swing it all the way back across the screen to hit your opponent. Like Try to keep that in the front of your mind as you're trying to take somebody's wall the next time you do it. Don't don't just go around like, okay, I'm going to hit the wall here. Now I'll hit it there. I'm going to hit here. Uh, just try to keep hitting the wall uh, lined up uh, with your crosshair lined up where your opponent is. Alrighty, everybody. That's the episode for today. Go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. It's Mike Daddy on all of those. Head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.